Hi students, hope everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another interesting topic in unit 3. We are going to see signed multiplication and both algorithm. This is very interesting topic and very important topic in this particular unit. So far we have seen different types of adders and multipliers. And this is another important multiplier we are going to see. Right. And first we'll start with signed multiplication. And in this video, we're going to see the multiplication of different types. That is signed multiplication with negative multiplication and positive multiplier. And what happens with negative multiplier and positive multiplication like that. Right. So first we'll start with signed multiplication with negative multiplication and positive multiplier. Right. First you got to understand this is the multiplication. Multiplicant and this is the multiplier. This is the multiplier. Okay. Right. So as I said, we are going to see negative multiplicant and positive multiplier. Right. So in signed multiplication, only one process is different from the normal multiplication process. Okay. In normal multiplication process, you will just, what you will do? Right. You will just add the multiplicant if it is 1. And if it is 0, you will put 0 for all the places. Correct? Right. So that is what we have seen in unsigned multiplication. Right. In signed multiplication, what we have to do? We have to check the sign of the multiplier and multiplicand. And we have to extend the sign. Okay. So first, let me start this. Right. Before explaining it, I will just explain uh, separately here so that you can understand very clearly. Okay. Right. Now, listen. I am taking the same multiplicand. It is minus 13. The number is given, right? Here, the question itself given as minus 13. Okay, that is uh, like minus 13 is nothing but the two's complement of 13. Okay, so that is the minus 13. It is they're directly given and 11 is directly given. Now we have to multiply it, right? And before this, uh, we will see a small normal multiplication. Okay. What is the small normal multiplication? If you take this triple 1 and triple 1, I'll, I'll just consider this, right? Just, just consider this example, okay? So if you multiply triple 1 and triple 1, what you'll get? You'll get 1, 1, 1 for this one, right? And for 1, 1, 1, this one, and again 1, 1, 1, right? And if you add what you'll get, you'll get 1, you'll get 10 here and 1 carry, right? And it is four ones now. So it will be 100, right? So it's 10. So it's 0 here and 10 carry. And 10 plus 1, 11. 11 plus 1 again 100. So it's 0 and again 10 here, right? So 10 plus 1, it's 11, right? This is the answer. The normal multiplication, correct? Clear with this, right? Now, understand one particular thing, okay? Here, we have three bits in multiplicand and three bits in multiplier okay so if you multiply this the product if you check the product you'll get one two three four five six bits okay so normally if you do in any multiplication right the number of the products will be right it is combined of multiplicand and the multiplier bits like three plus three it produces six bits here okay so remember this for Signed multiplication. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just consider this multiplier and this multiplicand. Okay. So multiplier is minus 13 and multiplier is sorry, multiplicand is minus 13 and multiplier is 11. Okay. Now we do normal multiplication. Okay. Now let us see this. Right. It's one. This I'm starting with this one. And if you multiply this one here. Right, what will happen? You have to write the multiplicand same, right? That is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Right. Now listen very carefully. We are doing signed multiplication. Okay. In signed multiplication, you have to extend the sign bit. Okay. Now consider now what I said. If you multiply, multiply the multiply, multi, multi, multiplicand, you'll get the product as combined product, right? That is the number of bits will be com combination of both. Multiplicate and the multiplier, right? So that is what we have seen. 3 plus 3, 6 bits. Okay. Now if we consider this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? And even the multiplier is 5 bits. So the product has to be 10 bits, right? The product has to be 
10 bits. The final product has to be 10 bits. Okay. Now, what we have got is we have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bits here. Right. And this is the signed bit. Remember, this is the signed bit. Okay. Now, we have to get the, the, the last product will be 10. 10. Right. The total number of bits in the last product will be 10. Correct. So, here only 5. So, what I am going to do is I am going to extend this for another 5 bits. 2, 3, 4 and 5. You got it? Right? I am just extending the sign bit for 5 more bits. Why is that I am extending for 5 more bits? Because if you multiply, you will get 10 bits. That is why I am extending for 5 more bits here. Okay? We have 5 here and so I am extending 5. Clear? Now, again, this one. Now, what I am going to do? I am going to multiply this. What will get? 1, 1. 0, 0, 1. Right? And you have already extended the sign. So, I am going to extend the sign bit again. Here it is 1. Right? Here it is 1. Right? So, what, once again what I am going to do? I am going to extend it here. Right? 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay? We have already attained 10 bits here. So, I am extending till this bit. Okay? Now, 0. If it is 0, what will happen? 0, 0, 0, 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? Five zeros, correct? And here the signed bit is zero. So you have to extend only zero here. Right? And now it's one again, right? If it is one again, now what I have to do? One, one, zero, zero, one, right? And then I have to extend the signed bit, right? One, one, correct? And now last bit is zero, correct? So it is zero, zero, zero. 0, 0 and extension is 0. You got it? Right? Did you understand how we got this once here now? Now you understand how we got this once? Okay? And after this, it is, it is a normal, it is a normal addition. Okay? What is that? It's 1. Right? And it's 1 plus 1, it's 10. So it's 0. And it's 1 carry. And again, 1 plus 1 is 10. 0 and 1 carry. And again, 1 plus 1 is 10. So, 0, 1 carry. Right? And uh, this 3, 1 scale. Right? So, 1, 10 plus 1, 11. So, it's 1. Right? And if you put 1 here, and again, it's 3, 1 here. Right? So, 3, 1, it's 1 again. And 1 carry here. Right? And again, it's 3, 1 scale. Right? So, it's 1 here. And 1 carry. Right? And, uh, and again here. You get four ones. One plus one, ten. Ten plus one, one. And eleven plus one, this one, right? This line, right? Eleven plus one is hundred, right? So it's ten. And again, ten carry, correct? Ten carry. So ten plus one, eleven. Eleven plus one, hundred. And hundred plus one, one zero one, correct? So it's one again. So it's ten carry, right? So now what happens here? So ten plus one, one. Eleven. Eleven plus one, hundred. Right? And 100 plus 1, what will get? 101. Right? So, it's 1. And again, 10 carry. Right? Like that, it goes on. Like, goes on. Like, if you, if you again extend, again extend the sign bit, it goes on. Okay? So, we'll stop it here. Okay? Now, you, you see here, what is the result we get? Right? So, it's 110, Correct? That is minus 143. Right? You got it? Right, you can extend the sign, but even if you want to extend another uh, two bits, you can do it, but it, the answer will be same, right? Whatever sign bit you are doing, right, if you if you calculate the value, even if it is 1 here, if you calculate the value, you will get only minus 143, right? So, it is better to stop at 10th bit itself, right? Because if the product here, the pin is 10 bits, right? So, got this? You understand this condition? So, signed multiplication is nothing but we have to extend the sign, okay? So, we are taking minus 13 and plus 11, doing normal multiplication, right? And remaining bits, I am extending the signed bit, right? Signed bit, if it is 1, I have to extend till the 10th bit, right? And if it is 1, I am extending it. If it is 0, it, you have to extend the 0, right? And then, we will do normal addition, correct? So, the answer, if you calculate this answer, right? If you, if you substitute values for 2, 2 to the power of 0 here, right? And it is 2 power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 and 8. If you calculate the values, you will get minus 143. Right? You can you can check that. Right? And it since it is a minus 143, the, the best thing what you can do is, uh, you can take, you can, you can take 143. You can represent 143 in binary. 
convert that into binary and takes Stokes complement of it so that you will get this particular value. Got it? Right? So this is the signed multiplication. Okay? Right. Now we see signed multiplication with negative multiplicand and positive multiplier. Right? Previously what we have seen is we have seen negative multiplicand and positive multiplier. Okay? Right. Now listen very carefully. Right? So what we are doing is we are taking minus 5. Right? Even if it, the question is given like this. Minus 5 and 7 or if it is question directly given then we can do it. Okay? Anything we can do it, right? So if I take minus 5, what is minus 5? How how we have to do minus 5? Right. I asked you to check the answer here, right? Minus 143. It's nothing but you have to uh, take the binary representation of 143 and then you take two's complement so that you'll get minus 143. So that you can cross verify the answer. Okay. Similarly, you take 5, right? How will I represent 5? In 4 to 1 code itself, I can represent 5, right? So it is 101, right? If it is 421 code, I will represent 101, right? And since it is a minus sign here, right? Since it is a minus sign here, what I have to do? I will use a 1. That is signed bit. This is a signed bit, okay? Now, what I have to do? I have to take 2's complement of it, right? So, in order to take 2's complement of it, what I have to do? I have to consider, I have to change this to Leave the sign bit. I have to change this to one's complement first, right? So 0, 1, 0. Correct? And then I have to add 1 for 2's complement. Right? So what I'll get? Right. 1, 1, 0, and this signed a bit 1. That remains. Correct? This is minus 5. You got it? Right. So for minus 5 and 7, we know that it is triple 1 and the sign bit is 0 because it is positive. Right? And minus sign is nothing but you take plus 5 and take 2's complement of it, you can represent minus 5. Okay? And the, now it is very simple. Okay? What you have to get? You have to get minus 35. Correct? You have to get minus 35. Right? So now what I will do? It's 1. Right? So what I will do? 1, 1, 0, 1. Right? This number. Right? 1, 1, 0, 1. Right? So now what happens here? You have, you have to get 8 bits, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So, totally 8 bits. So, we already got 4 bits here. So, this is sign extension. 1, 2, 3, 4. You got it? Right. Next one is again 1, right? So, you'll do the same thing. 1, 1, 0, 1, right? And remaining sign extension. Like we did in the last example, okay? And the, this one is also 1. So, it's 1, 1, 0, 1 and sign extension, okay? And 0... Like as I said before, right? Zero at the last, you can just eliminate it because in, in, normally in computer, zero will not do any operation. It will just give the same same value of the previous one. Okay? Right. Even if you add zero, there is no value here. Okay? Right. So now if you add this one, this is one, ten. So it's one carry. Right? And it's eleven, one. So it's one carry again. So again, it's eleven, one, one carry again. Again, it's 11, 1, and 1 carry again. So, it's 4 1 here. So, it's 100 now. So, it's 10, 0 and 10 here, right? So, 10 plus 1, 11. 11 plus 1, 100. 100 plus 1, 101, correct? So, it's 1 and again, it's 10 carry, right? So, if it is 10 carry, 10 plus 1, 11. 11 plus 1, 100. And 100 plus 1, 101, right? So, it's 1. And again, it's 10 carry, right? That 10 numbers can be represented like this. But normally, we can eliminate this one, okay? Right? So, now, we know that this is the value, right? This is the value, correct? And if this is the value, right? We have to make sure that we have got the correct value or not, okay? Now, now listen, right? So, if minus 35, we have to get, right? So, the, what this answer is equal to minus 35. How can we check that? How about we check that? We can also take, we can also do this way, right? We can just take two's complement of this, right? We can take just two's complement of this. It will be 35, right? That is plus 35. If it is that one, then that answer is correct, okay? Right? You can do either way. You can represent 35 binary and take, take two's complement, you can get this value, okay? And similarly, if you convert this into two's complement, if you get positive 35, that is also correct, right? So, if you take 2's complement of this number, you will get this value, correct? Right. Now, you can check this. This If this is 35, right? You can see 2 to the power of 0. This is 2 to the power of 0. 
it is 2 to the power of 1 and all this are 0, right? And this is 2 to the power of 5, right? So, it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So, if it is 5, so it is 2 to the power of 5, right? So, it is 2, 32, right? And again, it's 2, 34 here and 1 again, 35. So, the answer is correct, okay? So, if this is like a normal, normal multiplication. Only thing is you got to extend the sign, right? So, this is signed multiplication with negative multiplicand and positive multiplier. Okay. Now, the very important concept here is you got to see the signed multiplication for negative multiplicand and negative multiplier. Right. So, if the multiplier is negative, right, if the multiplier is negative, you have to be very careful. Okay. So, we know that how to represent minus 5, right. You have to convert the binary value of 5 to 2's complement. And simply the binary value of 7 to 2's complement so that you will get this values. Alright. And you do this normal multiplication. Okay. Now listen very carefully here. So it's 1. So it's 1, 1, 0, 1. Right. Right. 4 bits. But I need 8 bits here. So it's 4, 4 plus 4, 8. So I'm extending sign extension for another 4 bits. This is sign extension. Okay. And next is 0. Right. So for 0, everything will be 0. Right. And the sign is extended here. Similarly, next one is also 0 and does the same process, right? And the last one is 1 here, right? Now, listen very carefully. Now, it's 1, right? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply this, right? So, uh, you have to be very careful here, right? If the negative multiplier, if there is a negative multiplier and if the last M must be, this is the M must be, M of the M multiplicand is 1, then it is a signed multiplier, right? That is a, it is representing a minus sign. That is the signed indication, correct? Right. So, if it is minus 7 and if your MSB, that is if your multiplier is negative, right? And if the MSB is 1, what do you have to do? You have to take 2's complement of this one. You should not write as 1, 0, 1, 1. You can see it is different value here, right? What do you have to do? You have to, you have to write the 2's complement of this multiplicand only for negative multiplier, right? So, what I have to do? I have to take 2's complement of 1, 0, 1, 1. If you take 2's complement, what will happen? 0, 1, 0, 1. Correct? Right? Right? So, sorry. If you take, first you have to take 1's complement. So, 0, 1, 0, 0. Right? And then you will add 1. Right? So, what you will get? 1, 0, 1, 0. Right? And you can see that is the value. 1, 0, Right, 1, 0. That is the value and this is the sign extension. Got it? Right, and now you perform the normal addition. Now you perform the normal addition. 1, 1, right, 0, 10 again. So it's 0, 1, right, and it's 10 here. So 0, 1 again, right. So it's 11. So it's 1 and it's 1 here, right. So 10, 0, 1. So it's 10. So 0, 1. So this, you can eliminate this one. Okay, so up to this one only, right. Right? And if you check this value, you will get the same thing, right? 2 to the power of 5 here, it is, two, it is 32, right? So, it is uh, 2, 34 and th 32 plus 2, 34 and 5. It is correct, right? So, what you have to get? You have to get plus 35 and we got the plus 35, right? How we got it? It is like a normal multiplication. Only thing is, you have to understand if it is negative multiplier, right? And if the last MSB is 1, you have to write the 2's complement of the multiplicand, Okay? Right. So now, thank you, students. Thank you for watching. Kandipa in the video, Ongal Kalar, Kurombo useful Subscribe, passionate professor, and keep learning. Thank you very much.